Greetings and welcome back to Dungeon Defenders Awakened. I'm Catherine of Sky and I've got a mega chicken! I love it. It's like a, it's not a regular mega chicken. It's like one of these like, what is it called again? Let's look at it. Let's look and see. What the heck is it called again? Fused mega chicken. It looks angry, man. Holy fuzzy cats. So anyway, I looked at upgrading this. <laughs> we have 6 million. This is our life savings. And if I upgrade it all the way so far, it will cost us 4.7 million. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I don't understand the thing about the mega chicken. Because like right now, Oh wait, it's 7,500 DPS plus 3,000 fusion, but somehow it's still, maybe the attack is boosted by our stats here, like our attack stats or something, because um, we're doing 1,500 or 15,000 damage every time we hit something. So I don't know what's going on with that. Anyway, uh, anything else we want to can do here not really not really I don't think we can upgrade this thing now that one's done being upgraded this staff um, I'm really looking forward to getting that other staff back from the other EV but right now I think we don't actually I did actually uh, upgrade the other heroes and stuff um, but we don't have, uh, we haven't actually given them any skill points. I want to get all of our folks to level 60. Um, I don't know what max level is, but we will, we will see. Anyway, let's go ahead and sell everything. Uh, I don't know if we need, is there anything else? There's 29 items. Yeah. Let's go and get this. Z. Revert all, fine. So all again. Okay, good. So what is the next map? I didn't even look. What do we got? Let's check it out. Oh god, the chicken is going crazy. The outpost. Once serving as a shield between the castle and invaders, the outpost still stands. Thwart the invaders as the protectors of the past would. What is this one? Foundries and forges? I know that map. Um, all right, cool. We still have maps to do. Let's go. Oh. oh, this is beautiful. This is new. This is a new map. I don't know this map. What do we got? We have two crystals and they're quite far apart, it looks like. Um, I'm looking now at pathways. Does this bottom pathway go anywhere? Oh, actually, let's go G and see if it goes anywhere. Because it might not, or it might. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Looks like there's stuff coming down this way. There's stuff coming up this way. Ah, uh, we have a rift here as well. We can't even share this thing with the other thingy thingy. Okay, that's fine. This, it looks like it's going to be quite simple. Just double defenses on each side of the crystals. Um, yeah, should be fine. I, one thing I don't know is, ah, there are no rifts on this side, so this should be safe. Unless they're like dangerous frogs coming from the lagoon or something, I have no idea. Um, anyway, let's, uh, let's see what we can do here. Um, no, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to do, who do we start with? Probably, I like starting with the squire. The, I mean, the truth is that the... Um, the harpoon is a super powerful, powerful weapon. Um, I think I really would like to do something like a, uh, 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 uh. let's go T please. Yeah, there we go. We'll put this one right behind it. So that's going to cover both lanes there. That's already semi-cheating, I suppose. I don't know. Nah, it's not cheating. It's just fine. Are there wyverns? That is super close, man. All right. What we're going to do here is just do something like this, I think. Kind of as close as possible. 
put this one like there. And then this one is going to be what orientation? Oh, they're just going to come right over this bridge, looks like it. Okay. Which is very easy for me because it's very easy to put these these kind of things on. Oh, okay. Hello. Give. Hello. Good. Anything else coming from the air? Doesn't appear to be. It seems strangely easy for whatever reason. What what are the monsters looking like? Eight four eight. Huh. Um, all right, let's put in the buff beams then. I don't think we need much on buff beam land. Maybe even just a four beam. would like to get spiders in on this as well. This might need more cannons, I'm thinking. Oh, 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 okay. Because there are definitely two, two thingies that are occurring here. Let's give this a five. Put this one kind of there. I hope that's enough space. I like the music in this one. It's very nice. Hi, right, night. Come on, dude. Okay, good. So then, what else do we need? I guess we can do... Monkey stuff? Maybe have one monk aura here? Oh, that won't hit the beam, though. Well, we could put an extra beam on here. Yeah, and just put a kind of a beam in the middle there. Um, yeah, that would be fine. Let's see how this works. Or we can just do two separate beams. We have enough, we have quite a lot of defensive units, so I'm not really very worried about this. Though I, I am worried about this aura. This aura looks terrible. I think we need a space for each section there. Got to find a way to like funnel the uh, the ogres and stuff in here as well. How's that area doing? This seems to be okay. Looks like it's taking turns with which side they're coming on, so that seems to be all right. Oh, okay. That was scary. Yeah, these these guys aren't even hitting the auras. That's not great. I might upgrade the mega chicken anyway, just because it was my first mega chicken. Sometimes you get a little bit, I don't know, sentimental about stuff like that. Also, it might need I might separate this out um, because I feel like we can get a lot more space here. This is a really not great angle for these guys. Yeah, I think we're just going to sell this stuff. Let's get rid of these items here. Oh, I should have left the... Oh, that was dumb. I should have left the spider. Um, but let's see. Let's get rid of these as well. It's okay, we'll be a slightly behind in the build, but it's alright. It doesn't really matter. Is this pink? No. Still wondering what pink looks like. Dudes, give me pink. Okay. Alright, we'll start off with 
square. And I think we'll have enough units to do what I want to do as well, so there's no, no issue there. This part here, how do we want to do this? I think we kind of want to be... Oh, we have to be behind the rift, though. Ugh. Ick! Why? Don't do this to me, game! Why you do? Okay, so... Those are there. Um, that gives us EV. Now, let's see. Let's get that beam going. We'll just do a four beam. So we don't need more than that, I think. And I should have left the spider. I don't know why I didn't. It was silly of me. Here's four. Monk. Okay, let's just get this and snare. Electric. Oh, no! Why did it do that? That was definitely not what I wanted to do. It like moved my cursor or something. Do we want to do strength drain? Probably. Let's go with strength drain as well. And we'll put that one a little bit. Let's, uh, I guess we gotta get set up the other stuff first. All right, well, it's fine. We can come back with the monk to do the strength drain. Got to make sure we have these other auras set up first because it's they're kind of important. Well, they are very important, actually. And then we set up the traps and the other stuff. If you're wondering what I'm looking for, by the way, I'm looking for the edge to be just covering or just touching the buff beam. And you can tell if it's touching, if, like, it goes big, bigger, like, poof, like there. Did it again. Um, if it goes poof, then it's the correct size. So this is white because it doesn't have any sparkles. I've noticed, I think it's only purple and above has sparkles on the item. Okay, so now we need to do a thing. Is that... No. Oh, see, there's, this has sparkles at the bottom, I've noticed. Oh, no, blue has them as well, a little bit. But I think purple has more, and, and the gold is very sparkly. Okay, so we're going to do this to have a little bit of a blockade here. And then F4, get the trap in place. Put that one here. And then we can go and get the strength strain, which is number four. And then just like put that on the edge of the trap, kind of. Okay, good. So let's start this again. Oh, this is this is a mess, man. This feels like I need many of these uh, blockades here. Are these too far? They're too far, I think. Okay, let's get them a little bit closer, but not so close that the ogres can hit. Uh, my towers. That's what we're trying to prevent here. All right. Traptress. Okay. All right. Monk. All right. And leave room for this thing to expand. All right. Looking good. Okay. So this is going to be Looks like we found a new a new way of doing stuff kind of a new standard of how we want to organize these areas um oh we're lacking spiders over here that's not great did i just miss them did i forget did they get killed oh no i changed the other one so i i deleted the spider of course i did yep forgot about that okay so let's get you some spiders over here. Okay, and that is kind of all we have. Jeez, alright. Can we add a 
we can, or I think this is a two blockade area. Let's see. Um, oh, no. Well, we have more mana. Good. But that's pretty much it. Okay, that's fine. We'll kind of hang out in this area, I think. Hopefully not get killed. Okay, we've got five waves here, which is fine. Let's see, find this new... Oh, there's the portal. Chicken, would you like to do the honors? No, I have to do the honors. That's nuts, man. Okay, let's figure that one out. Okay, that one's deaded. How's that area going really well? Okay, good, good, good. Just gotta watch this, make sure nothing gets close. Looks like it's okay, nothing is getting close. So that's kind of great. We have a lot more line of sight, uh, especially in this direction than before. So uh, I think it was a good idea to have another defense post instead of sharing them. Kind of looking again. Loot filter is not working at all, which is annoying. I I don't know why they would have a feature in the game and it doesn't work. Like I don't get that. I really don't understand that. Like why do why, why would you bother putting it in the game if it doesn't work, or not fixing it if it did work? Because it looks like on the forums people are like, oh, can you fix this? It used to work and now it doesn't. So it should get fixed, I hope. I want it to get fixed, because it seems like an efficient thing to have. <laughs> and I'm like, I want efficiency, man! Why am I having to, like, look through all this stuff? It should just, like, filter it automatically. Like, most games, um, like ARPGs especially, have loot filters, so... Uh, obviously this isn't an ARPG, but it's it's got that kind of action element to it which is kind of nice. Anyway, let's go and finish the build. We need, to, uh, what do we need? Let's find out. We need the trap. Okay. And then let's go to the monk. And then we get this thing. Something like that. And then, do we have enough for, for here? Maybe. Maybe. So we had two blockades there. That's fine. Uh, I don't know how many we even need here. Probably three. The least. I really liked the EV's walls. Uh, you could, they, you know, you could change them from whatever, how many units you wanted. Um... So it's kind of annoying that we don't have those anymore. I'm not really happy with the change of towers at all. I, I wish they had kind of left them as they were because they were really good before and now they're not great. Um, okay, so let's go monk and four. So we have four units left. Um, we could just be really safe and put in four units of um, four units of reflect beams. Uh, that might be okay. However, in Glitterhelm, we didn't need any of that. So I'm kind of, kind of like, eh, maybe they don't, they're not needed anymore. <laughs> maybe they're not needed. I don't know. That's okay. We'll put them in. We'll put them in. Let's see. Just hopefully protect our defenses a little bit. Kind of wish I hadn't left these so far. That's enough to cover the crystal, I think, as well. Though. Let's see. Gotta make sure that they're all exactly one. One long. Uh, OK. 
Okay, that's all we got. Jeez. All right. All right, Mega Chicken, let's go. All right, every area is uh, set up the same. Now we just need to upgrade our towers. Uh... Where is this portal happening over there? Is it too close? Too far? Oh, an ogre. That's not great. Hey, ogre. <gasps> no! Okay. Okay. That, uh, oh, all of them died. Ha <laughs> ha! All of them died. I think I might have to give the squire some more fortify. Ah, oh god. Okay, 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 okay. It's weird having a hero deck where you only have a limited number of heroes because in the original game you could have as many heroes as you want and use... I mean, you, had, you didn't have those new tower builders that we found, um, but you could have like all of your tower builders and DPS uh, at the same time. Of course, the leveling was different. You had to level everybody, uh, by themselves, and that was annoying. Um, so I guess it's better this way, but then you're limited on the numbers of towers and types of towers that you can use. So there are downsides for sure to this. What is needing repair? Oh, strength strain. Okay. Looks like we didn't get killed, though. Not yet. Oh, we might want to move that trap, though. Hmm. I don't know if it would that tr if it would have hit that trap or not. It's hard to tell. All right, we definitely need to get out this guy. Let's see, T. We only had two here. Okay. That was, uh, impressive. I'm wondering if... I'm wondering if the Strength Strain Aura works the same as it used to. Back in the old days. I think what it did is it like it's kind of like one of these like the spider and like makes them take double damage kind of thing. Um, so, but I'm not actually sure if that's actually working that way in this game or not because there are differences between regular, you know, DD and this game. Um, yeah. All right, uh, I guess that's it. Oh, no, it's not that. Uh, let's upgrade some stuff here. Beam. Let's go to... Okay, that's fine. We didn't upgrade any of these beams, and maybe that's part of the problem. I do like floating over this river. That's quite cool. All right, cool. All right, let's go. Got me a hammer. Ooh. Something, is that an ogre? That looked weird. Looked like a, like a, like some kind of a werewolf or something.
feel like I definitely need to get more fortify points on my um, my apprentice, or not apprentice, but the squire, because he's right now our only choice for walls. So that's not great. That's actually not great. Um, and kind of you, if you're you know specializing harpoons, then you would rather spend those points on harpoons. So I'm kind of like, oh no, why? Because the EV should have walls. I wish she had walls back. I don't know why they changed that. I don't know if these walls are getting bashed by ogres or it's kobolds. Hello? That's weird. I'm trying to click. Oh, I know what's happening. <laughs> I think my mouse has run out of battery. Okay, I shall plug it in. It's, it's such a weird thing because the mouse only needs to be charged like every three to five days. So it's easy to forget uh, to charge it. All right. Anything else here? Everything looks pretty good. Let's go and pick up our loot. Some nice loots out here. Excellent. Uh huh. Got some interesting looking weapons for sure. All right, let's get this beam, this beam, there we go. We didn't lose anything this time, that's good. But I think that's because we were periodically repairing stuff as well. I'm hoping that the pink stuff is going to be really stand out. I think that other stuff is purple, but it's hard to tell. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can level her up a bit. I don't know how many. Wow, 25 points. Holy crap. Um, let's give her like 55 vitality and then put the rest in attack. Okay, let's go. I'm really glad that you can like move the points around and stuff. That is really nice. Rift portal, where would that be? Over there, okay. Where? Also, there's an ogre there. Something to kill stuff, okay. Where is this rift portal? that was behind me. Actually, I should just do this. Oh, wow, there's many over there. Chicken going to town on this ogre. Boom. Nice. I 
I don't know if I'm wasting my mana upgrading these blockades or not. Because they might just die anyway. Probably better to upgrade the, the um, harpoons. Just kill stuff faster so they never reach the blockade. Okay, let's go start making our rounds and collect items, loot. something is stuck. I haven't seen any stuck stuff, but... Blockades seem to be very nicely sorted. Oh, I ran out of mana. Where is this enemy? I don't see it anywhere. Go and look around. Nothing there. Actually, we can walk around and Chicken will auto-locate this for us. Alright, let's walk around toward the doors. We haven't even explored this map. Nothing here. Oh, there's a golden thing there. Must have been one that I zapped from far away. Wow, we got a whole castle over here. Oh, hi. There we go. Let's keep on looking around, though. That's cool. Wow, that's neat. I like this place. It's kind of cool. I like also like going out to where you're not supposed to go. Well, maybe not not supposed to, but like these other pathways that are uh, interesting. I don't know. It's cool. It's very cool. It's very cool. Okay, let's get our chest. Uh, what level are we on? Are we done? Oh, we finished! That was it? Oh, I was just starting to like this place. It's nice. <laughs> okay, cool. Alright, 776,000 XP. Not too bad. Um, let's see. Let's go back to the tavern. We got... I don't know what Unbreakable is. Maybe it's if none of your defenses get, to get unbroken. I don't know. Tactician we get every time. Mortal Flawless Victory... Knight, Master Builder. I forget what all of these mean. And I wish, like, there's no tooltip. Come on. Give us a tooltip or something. Or click on the button to figure out what it means so that you know what to do. I think one of them is definitely um, Immortal, I think, is never dying through the whole map or something. And Flawless Victory is not getting your crystals hurt. Master Builder, I forget what that one is. Um... But anyway, let's go to the tavern. Let's go. See if we got anything good loot. So we were going to do runes first. Runes. Should we look at the weapon to upgrade it? All right, let's do runes first. Accessories. No, misc runes. Let's see. 
Okay, use, use, use. I think the rest are just... We have them already. Let's see, sell all of these things. All right, so then filter, and then we can just do this and do this, this, that. Okay, sure. Um, we need shoes. Oh, <gasps> whoa, look at that. Oh my God. Holy crap. Uh, that looks awesome. <laughs> ah. Wow. What is this? Proian cannon. Weapon staff. Is this a staff? That's a staff. This is a bow. What is this? Oh, this is a staff. Okay. So if I put this thing on and then we get a this. Why does this not go in that thingy? How come I, how can I, oh, aha. Okay. So if I get marked for death, another marked for death item, I can put it in here. I think. Cause that's what I, I need, 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 need marked for death. Let me just look at this deadly assault. All the things, all the stuff. Uh, we need what? Marked for death. Can I filter that for marked for death? Come on, can't you not put the damn thing in? Oh, that's so frustrating. Uh, let's do it this way. We need staff and bow. Okay. That's all I want in here. This is a staff. Nope. It's the wrong kind. We need marked for death. Marked for death. I wish they had categories that actually made sense for these. This is so frustrating that I have to actually look through every one of these when they have so many different um, thingies. This is kind of annoying. Marked for death. So nothing marked for death. That's not great. I wonder... I guess it doesn't matter what I take here. If I'm only going to use one of them anyway. But yeah, this one, holy fuzzy cats, this is crazy. I do 66k. Uh, what this one? Let's look at the other EV. So this one, we actually. Did this gain? Levels? It did. It gained many levels. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it's so weird that it shows like it it has the thingies. This is Inspired Assault. Okay, I'm going to take this one off and lock it. Go to the other EV. Where's my other one? Oh, there it is. Okay. Let's do this one. This is our 20,000 DPS weapon. Um, let's go to the other EV. Put this one on. So this is going to be our, uh, our leveling weapon for the next map. Uh, and we'll level it on this EV first. And then once we get that leveled. Oh, we have new problems. Where did the other weapon go? 
dude. Where is it? Oh, it is here. Okay. So now we are back to our 130k. Is that right? Offhand. 37k. I thought we were up to 200k or something like that, weren't we? I'm so confused by this. Did something else go wrong? I don't know. This feels really weird. Okay. Anyway, um, so it looks like we can't get the other weapons the way we want to use them right now. So we will just go ahead and just sell all this stuff. These are just weapons in here anyway. I think... Oh, I should check. I'm going to check the other um, the other heroes. Not that it's going to matter much. But I'll go ahead and do that and put the points in. Let's see. How many points did they get? They got 16 points from that. That's pretty nice. Level 59. We're almost at 60. Soon to Nightmare Mode. I'm pretty excited about that. Nightmare is a huge, huge step up. Or it was in the original Dungeon Defenders. So I'm curious if we can actually do a Nightmare map. I'm really kind of excited about that. So anyway, let's finish off this episode here. And I'll do all this stuff in between uh, this one and the next. Um, so thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you next time.